one thing about this camera it's it's gonna i want it to be on autofocus but right now it's doing something crazy but um i wanted to show you guys let me put y'all on here show y'all i want the camera to fall off okay let's put it back some all right guys so i'm in what's gonna be why is it so dark when i go further let's put it back over here i can't damn get it together perfect so um we're you guys can't even see but right now we are today we're 19 weeks for sure right so we're right about the the halfway mark at 20 weeks, I'm wearing these workout leggings that's squishing baby, but I wanted to show you <clears throat> yesterday when my friends, yesterday on my birthday, when my friends planned or gender reveal, <laughs> baby's a girl, so excited. Jody got me this little bag and it was so nostalgic because I remember when I was um, organizing her, her gender reveal, I got her. I think two or three cute little outfits in like a little box. I was so damn excited about my god baby. Jody and Jules are this baby's godmothers, and that's just what it is. Jody also got me like a little Pandora charm, and it says, I will always be there for you. And when I read it, I was ready to tear the hell up because there's nothing more um, isolating than feeling like you are alone. So knowing that I have friends who are there for me is just amazing. So Judy bought baby these little slippers. These are so cute. These are so damn cute. She bought her those little slippers. She also bought her another pair. These are so, these are stupid cute. Are you kidding me? So cute. These she could wear with so many different things. Both of them she could wear with so many different things. But these are so damn cute. And she bought her these onesies. This little rainbow one. Definitely a rainbow baby. That's a story for another day. This one, she bought her cute little bibs, but let me show you the, the, the bib that really, this has elephants on there and I love elephants. She bought this little one and she asked Mr. to take it out of the bag first. How stinking cute is that? He could not stop looking at it the entire time. And then there's this other little onesie. They're so darn cute. So right now, baby has quite a few onesies, right? She doesn't have any, like, real outfits yet or anything, but she has quite a few onesies, so um, that's cute. So I'm, I'm kind of excited now that I'm able to put, like, things that are specific to her gender on my register, like, buy her some things that are specific to her gender. So that's nice. And, um, yeah, the, the, the registry is basically almost done. I just need to finalize a few other things, and then... It's ready to share. I said I wouldn't share it until like the halfway mark or whatever, but you know, I don't, I don't. Baby's grandmother is so darn excited to buy her all types of things last night we were talking and I died when she, she said she was at work jumping around when she got the picture that baby is a girl. It was quite the spectacle. By the time you guys are watching this video, you would have already seen a baby's gender reveal video. I just need to edit it. So I'm like, here. can't get to it yet. I'm going to get to it at some point today. I said I was going to pick up a shift at work tonight, but... I don't really know how that's gonna go. I need to come back home from breakfast and see if I wanna sleep and like, you know, I don't really know. But I just wanted to show you guys those cute little things and I'm gonna show you guys everything else that we do have on the bed for Baba's. Most of the other things, Joe also bought us these and I absolutely, I showed you guys these before. I absolutely love these. And she, she gave us this little gift card. You know, you buy from Amazon, you could add like a little message so most of those items are from the free gift bags. I'm trying to make sure I'm able to see myself as fashionable as I am and all. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm pushing this bag a little bit. We just came home. My baby father and I spent the last couple of hours on the road where he decided, oh my gosh, baby father really so ghetto. Where he decided to buy our daughter some things. He picked this out all on his own. I didn't help or anything. Very impressed. Because we know his taste is questionable. 
never question <laughs> I picked her out these little bows so cute I was explaining to him that I like the bows with the thicker band as opposed to the ones that are thinner because I somehow feel like the ones that are thinner hurts baby they might not but that's just my preference and we're already anticipating that baby R is gonna have a lot of hair I'm also thinking her middle name is gonna be Jade that could change as time progresses but for now we're gonna work with that information she's a Jade surname starting with R you know we're not calling no names on the internet because you can't be too sure these days I picked out this cute little outfit it's two tops one is a onesie and the other one is pants babe where are you yeah these are called onesies boy the funny stuff the one with the foot and the arms and everything. No. So, um, we were going back and forth about, like, having pants for her because we have a lot of onesies so far. So far. So, we bought this little outfit with a little pants and two cute little pockets at the sides. Oh, we both saw this together and this is the first thing that we said is so cute and we should get it it's the cutest little outfit and then let me show you what mister picked out for his daughter he picked out this little set of three onesies which I think works out perfectly with this so I was telling him that either of these could go with this um, little dress. And it came with a little bow. <laughs> because I was telling him that I think we need to get her like outfits. Because I could just see him. I picked up a little set of onesie in the store. And I said to him, babe, what would you put, um, what would you put a lavender onesie with? And he said blue shorts. And I died in the store. And I'm glad that that happened because that pivotal moment was necessary in order for us to decide that we need to get her outfits. So he sees that this and that goes together. So when you get her dressed, put these on her. We have a catastrophe on our hands, but what can we do? And then lastly, he picked this out. This says, sweet like mommy. This is a little bit bigger. This is six to nine months, which obviously we need anyways. This one has strawberries, and this one has other fruits. So cute. So I would say for his first little shopping trip for a little girl, his own, his very own little girl, he did a great job. Can we leave him to shop on his own? I don't really know. Like we already established, she has questionable taste. But if we're going off of the little dress that him and I decided on together, and this that he chose on his own, and this, maybe his taste for his daughter isn't so questionable. So maybe we could send him shopping. With guidelines that he sends us pictures of everything before he checks out. But we had a successful little shopping trip today and that was nice. Because this is the first we've ever been able to buy anything specific to the gender of our baby. Because we literally just found out yesterday on my birthday. Which is great. Babe, I think you did a really good job. What are the things that you picked out on your own? 